everyone. It's Nancy Vastine. I've got you at a different angle again today with this iPad. I'm hoping that we can get it worked out. Today is the last day of our doodles, and I'm sad. I'm really sad. But yesterday, after I went off the camera, I sat and did this doodle, and it took me several hours to do. So, I wanted you to all see that. I have a little story about hearts. And I'm going to count this one as our last day. Day 30. But I have a little, I will do a doodle on a little paper today. But I have a, a story about the hearts. Um... I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna start drawing while I'm telling you the story. But um, my birthday is the 13th of December. I mean December. That's my son's birthday. Mine is the 13th of February, and so. Every year, my mother made me heart birthday cakes every year. Yeah, I got a heart birthday cake. My daddy said I was his little valentine. And so, I got hearts. Everything was hearts. So I got so sick of hearts that I couldn't stand hearts. I can't stand them to this day. I don't like them. I don't want a heart cake for my birthday. I don't want a heart. Anything hearts for Valentine's Day. Do you know how hard that is to find hearts? Something that isn't hearts for Valentine's Day? For your hubby to give you a sweetheart gift or a birthday gift that isn't hearts? Yeah. Well... That's my story about hearts. I just don't like them. But I drew a heart for our last day of doodling. Because I thought I would just put it out there. I've had so much fun doing these. I really have had fun doing that. And I really... i kind of sad. I'm really kind of sad. But I'm going to continue doing the doodles. Now, I want you all to go check out Little Ink. That's her YouTube. I will put the link down at the bottom for her YouTube. She does Midori's and Habanachi, Habanachi books, I think is what the, how they're called. That lady can draw. And she draws in pencil. And then she can take a page that, it, you know, these are really not. Uh, watercolor pages. They're thin pages in these books. They're kind of like the Moleskin, Moleskin book, and they're like a journal, a, a journal. Um, what do I want to say? A journal. 
And also it has calendars in there where you can write down all your stuff. And then it has blank pages. And she doodles on those pages. And she can just really make some beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff on them. I don't know how she does it. She's she's just got the knack. Let me tell you. Anyway, I want you to go over there and check her out because she has done them in slow, well, not slow motion, but not real fast either so you can see what she's doing and uh, if only but I guess you just gotta practice and get your own style down and not do try to do anybody else's style And become your own artist. And you don't have to draw hearts if you don't want to. You see, I've taken all this time, this whole 30 days, and I haven't drawn a heart until the very end. I saved it. I saved my heart till the very end. And I don't know if this angle is going to be any good or not. I'm enjoying uh, taping on my iPad because it uploads so quickly. I mean, in minutes, it's uploaded. So that feature I like a lot. So I'm not doing anything too fancy, just putting some things here and there and seeing what comes out. Yes, but she draws with pencil and she raises a lot. And then she never goes over it with a pen and then she starts painting it in with markers or watercolors I'm amazed at what she can do on this paper just amazed of the things that you can do and people think they have to have watercolor paper and it never leaks through to the back. She's always checking to see if it leaks through to the back side, and it never does. She just knows exactly how much water to put on there. She uses a water brush. So this is my last day of doodles, but I'll be back on to do some other things. But I'm going to keep practicing in my doodle book. Yeah, I, I mean, simple things like she draws an eraser and a pen and her paint brushes and a half a face and you name it. It's just amazing to me yeah
just amazes me what people can do. And Victor, Victor has really, really done some beautiful drawings. He's really gotten into the doodles. I have a journal that I made a few years ago. One of the first ones I made, and I put black paper in it, and I think I'm going to pull it out and do some uh, journaling with, uh, or doodling with some white pens. I'm just making some scrolly looking things. But I worked on my heart for about, oh, mm, several hours. You see what I'm doing here? Trying to find an angle on that iPad, and I think I've pretty much found one. I'll see what you guys think of it. shows all my mess on my table. I need to clean my table off. So that's my story about the hearts. February 13th is a heart day not for Nancy. <laughs> she does not like them. Thanks to her mommy. My mother decorated, uh, hand decorated cakes with icing way before decor um, the decorations came out, the tubes and stuff that you could use, she would put icing in an envelope and cut the, in a mailing envelope and cut the uh, corner out of it and um, use that to write our names and stuff on the cake. She was quite the ingenious woman. She um, always figured something out with nothing. And she told me, because I kept telling her when I got married, I said, when I get married, I'm going to marry me a man that will... Buy me a dishwasher. Uh, that was just unheard of. Dishwashers back then were just whoa, way expensive. I'm aging myself, aren't I? Well, I'll tell you. I will be 64 years old on the 13th of February. Yeah. 
That's old. Anyway. So when I was growing up and I had to wash dishes because we all had to do it. And my brothers would, when I was smaller, they'd say, I'll give you a quarter if you'll wash the dishes for me tonight. And dumb, dumb me, I would do it for them just for that quarter. But then when they all moved out and it was just me that had to do the dishes, well, mm-mm-mm. I was going to make sure that I married me a man that would buy me a dishwasher. My mom says, well, I hope you marry a rich man. Well, that didn't happen either. But I got my dishwasher. It was a portable dishwasher that you hooked up to your sink. Yep. And I remember we bought it on a credit card from Sears. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I remember those days. Alright guys, here's my doodle for today. I want to do that one, but I still want to count this one because I think I did a lot of work on this one. And there's the one for today. So we're going to day stamp this one and put it with our other ones. And this is the end. Three, and I have to find a zero. Three, zero. I want to make sure I don't goober that up. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Here it is. There's today's, and here's the one I did yesterday. Okay, thanks guys for coming and joining me through a whole doodles process. And, you know, I really want to pat myself on the back and thank Jamie because I finished a challenge. And this is the first challenge I've ever done, and I finished it. And I'm really proud of myself. And thank you, Jamie. Thank you so much for this challenge. It was a fun challenge to do. I'll be looking forward to another one. Okay, bye-bye, guys.